Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x to the power of 3 divided by 64. This is equal to 64 over x to the power of 3. So what are the values of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. Now we have x to the power of 3 divided by 64. This is equal to 64 over x to the power of 3. The first step is to cross multiply here so that now we have x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 3. This is equal to 64 multiplied by 64. We can express 64. This is the same thing as 4 to the power of 3. So we have x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 3. This is equal to 4 to the power of 3 times 4 to the power of 3. The next step is that x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have x to the power of 3 plus 3. This is equal to 4 to the power of 3 plus 3. And therefore, we have that this is x to the power of 3 plus 3. This is equal to 6. And therefore, this is equal to 4 to the power of 3 plus 3, which is equal to 6. Now, the next step is to take 4 to the power of 6 on the left hand side. So that now we have x to the power of 6 subtract 4 to the power of 6 this is equal to 0. We can express x to the power of 3 this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 6 which you can express as 4 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 0. This equation here is in the form of a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 which can be expressed as a plus b, then a minus b. From this equation here, we have that a is equal to x to the power of 3, and we have b is equal to 4 to the power of 3. Now this implies that a plus b, in this case, this is x to the power of 3, plus 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0, Let's call this equation 1. And a minus b, this is equal to x to the power of 3, minus 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start with equation 1. We can call this case 1. And therefore, we have x to the power of 3, plus 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. So this is a cubic the sum of two cubes a, which is a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, and this can be expressed as a plus b. Then here we have a squared minus ab, then plus b to the power of 2. So here we have x plus 4. Then we have x squared minus 4x, then plus 4 squared, which is equal to 16. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 4. This is equal to 0. The second part is x to the power of 2 minus 4x plus 16. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that x1 is equal to minus 4. Now let's solve for the other values of x here. Now, from this quadratic equation here, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, and that c is equal to 16. So, to solve for x2, comma x3, we apply the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. Now, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So that now, here we have minus, minus 4, plus or minus a. 
square root of b squared which is minus 4 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 16 everything here divided by 2 now here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared this is 16 minus 16 times 4 this is equal to 64 everything here divided by 2 now here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 64 this is minus 48 everything here divided by 2 so this is the same thing as 4 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 48 this is the same thing as 16 multiplying by 3 multiplying by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so therefore here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 this is 4 square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 in the numerator here 2 is common we can factor out 2 so that now into the parentheses we have 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3 cross the parentheses everything here divided by 2 so let's simplify 2 and 2 here so that now here we have 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3 so here this implies that x2 is equal to 2 plus 2i square root of 3 and x3 is equal to 2 minus 2i square root of 3. Now these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2. In case 2, we have x to the power of 3 subtract 4 to the power of 3. This is equal to, to 0. Now this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 which can be expressed as a minus b then we have a squared plus a b plus b to the power of 2 applying this identity then here we have x minus 4 then here we have x squared plus 4x then plus 4 squared which is 16 this is equal to 0 now here we have two parts the first part is x minus 4 this is equal to 0 the second part here is x to the power of 2 plus 4x plus 16 this is equal to 0 from the first part here we have that x4 is equal to 4. x4 is equal to 4. Now, the second part here is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to 4, and that c is equal to 16. Now, let's solve for x5, comma, x6 by applying the quadratic formula that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a now let's substitute the values of a b and c here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of now here we have 4 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 16 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so here we have minus 4 plus or minus we have the square root of 4 squared this is equal to 16 minus 16 times 4 this is equal to 64 everything here divided by 2 so therefore here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 64 this is minus 48 everything here divided by 2 2. Now, here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 
minus 48, which we can express as 16 times 3 times minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. And this implies that here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 here. This is 4. Square root of minus 1. This is the same thing as i. Then square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. In the numerator part here, we have that 2 is common, so we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is minus 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. So now let's simplify 2 and 2 here so that now we have the solution here as minus 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. Now this again are two complex solutions under case 2. So in total we have six solutions that is two real solutions here and four complex solutions. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.